Hi, welcome to today's sketchbook school drawing party. I don't know about you, but I can use a little bit of color. I actually started out the day in a black sweater and then just now I changed into a yellow one just because it might make me feel a little bit sunnier. <laughs> it, is, um, it is raining here in Amsterdam, um, but also the sun comes out every now and then. It's one of those days. Um, maybe you are in a climate where it's super warm or maybe it's raining. It doesn't actually matter because we're all inside. Um, anyway, I went for a little walk in the park this morning. I met a friend there, which was fantastic. So we stood two meters apart. We sat on a bench two meters apart and we chatted for an hour. It was wonderful. And on my way back, I picked these. And that made me so happy. <laughs> Three little, are these daisies? I think they're called daisies. Um, three little daisies that just um, made my day. And now my sweater matches them too. So I was actually thinking maybe I wanted to draw these today. And um, I've been practicing or experimenting a little bit lately in my sketchbook with um, watercolor and then a line on top like um, dip pen, because I never use dip pen because it, I think it's fiddly, but now that I'm at home so much, it's fine to just, you know, have the ink bottles out and the different dip pens and all that. So um, I don't need to go with them on location or anything. Anyway, so let me show you just um, an example. I really love the effect of this. So, I put down the watercolor first and then line on top, but not actually really matching it. And I think the energy of that is fantastic. And I did another one here. I really love what's going on here. And actually, I have those flowers here too. Or three of them, I, picked, I, I took three of them here. Um, so I have a bunch of uh, daisies and a bunch of these um, gerbera, gerber flowers. I don't know what the name is. Does it matter? Bright pink, which I think is great. So um, I do want to use a little bit of watercolor. Um, and then I am going to use um, maybe some crayons. I think so. And then also perhaps um, uh, a brush pen, but you can also use a dip pen or any kind of pen. Just, just grab whatever um, it, you want and let's fill a page with some color. You can draw flowers, you can draw um, blobs of color and then draw teacups around it or something with patterns on it, as long as you um, loosen up and don't trace the actual color that you lay, laid down, but use the um, the uh, the the energy that you get from actually um, coloring outside of the lines or adding the lines outside of the color. I like that. Good. Gerberas, that's the name, is uh, what Erzit says. Well, thank you. <laughs> I thought so, but I wasn't sure. I know they are Gerberas in Dutch. Um, great to see that so many people are, uh, oh, a lot of people have, have actually told me they are Gerberas. Thank you for that. Um, Betty has her dip pens out. Good, 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 good. Let's get started. Uh, because we need a little bit of time to have uh, to if if I paint I need a little bit of time for that to dry so I want to get started right away I hope you have all your art supplies out all your colors that you might want to use um, and I will start right away with those pink flowers and then I will 
give you a little bit of an update also about the sketchbook school drawing parties but first i want to get the the first color down as you can see this has bled through a little from another watercolor exercise this one which i still really like but uh, i don't mind that it buckled a little bit and i'm just going to dive right in so i'll go for that bright pink of those gerberas and I'm not going to try and um, uh, get it right <laughs> you know this is fine this is this indicates a flower and I want to mix another um, lighter pink for the other uh, pink gerbera That'll work. And maybe I want that darker pink again. Okay, that's good. So these are the biggest shapes that I am actually going to put down here. But I also have these cutesies, the daisies. So um, I will use a little bit of yellow watercolor to Add a few pops of yellow and then this can become kind of a um, pat pattern, yeah, flower, floral pattern perhaps. There we go. Okay, I see that um, the, the paper sucks up that watercolor, so that's good. It will dry in just a minute. So if you are uh, painting along with me or drawing along with me then you know that you can share your art using the hashtag SBS drawing party so we can all see what you make and uh, I love seeing everybody's art it's so fantastic and so inspiring and super motivating um, so keep on doing that there is going to be a little bit of a change because I have been on Instagram every day for the past month we will be doing daily drawing parties from next week. The only difference is that Danny and I are going to alternate. So I will be here on Instagram on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And he will take the Tuesdays and the Thursdays on YouTube. So you will have a daily drawing party. It's just in two different places. He will be on YouTube live at noon eastern daylight time and i will be on instagram mondays wednesdays and fridays live at 8 a.m eastern uh, daylight time uh, like you're used to seeing me here okay so that's all i wanted to say this has kind of sort of dried i'm good with that um so i was thinking to, yeah, maybe I just start with those big shapes just to get it over with. <laughs> because they are a little bit scary, I think. Um, so these are really nice. They have a, um, I love flowers, by the way. I want to have flowers always in my house. Not that I always have them, but these have a very dark heart. It's like almost black. And the, the lighter pink one has a... Uh, Greenish heart, actually, I noticed just now. Look at that, it's beautiful. So I can start with that dark pink and I'll just start with the dark heart and I can see them just a little bit in perspective here, which I think is great. So it's not just um, a simple flower shape, but there's actually um, a little bit of a um, curve to it or an angle to it, an angle. And there we go. This does not have to be accurate at all. I like that this does not fit each other at all. I think it works great. Um, I see some yellow in there, so I think I will try to... See. Yeah, that works. A little bit of um, yellow sprinkles of crayon. These are Neo Color Aquarelle crayons but I'm actually not even adding any color uh, any water to them so you can use any kind of crayon but of course you can also use um, 
colored pencils or well anything anything <laughs> anything that makes you happy and i sound like bob ross if i say that it's your world this is your flower happy little flower there you go messy i like i like the mess i'm making here i do like that yellow add it here Ugh. The, the the ink was still wet so now i just made a whole mud of it but it doesn't matter um i'll go right into the this pink one that's so delicate i like it the color that i put down there and there's a little bit of green there. I don't have the right color green in my crayon set, but it doesn't matter. I'll just do this. And then there's also a little bit of yellow. And let's draw those petals. Now I'm getting the hang with it. This is what I want. See that curve? Oh, I love the, the energy of this. That works. I like how while drawing and while painting, you can learn so much just by exploring and then you will discover all kinds of things. Like what works, what doesn't work. Should have left a little bit of space here, you know, but yeah, here we go. I learned something. Now I'm just going to add a few of these daisies around the yellow. And I'm really, I did not really have a plan here. I'm just making this up. You can do this too. Just, you know, give yourself a little theme or a little bit of um, a challenge. And before you know it, you've made a drawing. So I'm combining this with um, just a little bit of... Uh, uh, crayons, no ink. I don't know why, but I, the, the texture of the crayon makes sense to me um, for this small, cute, fun flower. It's just all play. This is a bit tricky because there's edges. Another one with those edges. By the way, yesterday I added a little bit of writing too to the meditation just to fill the page because it felt so lonely on the page. That was a fun little extra afterwards. And I think a few of you were still going when I was uh, ending the live recording. So I hope you had fun. I'm almost done with this page and I have to say this is so much fun it is like I have picked all these daisies and have been putting them in a little vase right now just now I'm done look at that full of energy a little bit of sunshine and a lot of color. I'm done. Was that too fast? I don't know. For me, this was exactly what I needed. It's an unbalanced floral pattern with lots of fun and lots of energy. And um, if I look at it, it kind of makes me happy. So, and I think that really is um, the goal of this, you know, just the act of drawing, the act of um, scribbling and putting colors down. That is what the whole fun part is. And then if also you look at the result and the colors pop and that makes you happy, I think that's perfection. Even though the art is not perfect, you have reached perfection. Good, so um, yeah, that's, that's really all I've got for today. <laughs> um, I hope you have been drawing along, coloring along. If you haven't, 
You can also do something completely different. You can fill your page with all kinds of flowers with black line and then color it in like a coloring page. But one rule, color outside of the lines and see what happens. Or use just two colors and see how you can create balance in your page. Well, lots of ideas. Um, as long as you have color, just fill a page, do it now, do it today, tap into your creativity, give yourself a little bit of sunshine, color, and a lot of love. Okay, I, tomorrow is Friday, I will be here tomorrow again, and from next week, I will be here live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And you can get your fix on YouTube on Tuesdays and Thursdays with Danny. So check in on YouTube, follow that channel so you know when he goes live and follow this channel here so you know when I go live, so you never miss out. Have a fantastic day, take care, stay sane, stay safe and uh, keep on making. See you, bye.